Fox 35 investigates a pool dream turned nightmare. A local man says he poured tens of thousands of dollars into a new pool, and all he has to show for it is this mess. Others across the country say the same thing happened to them. Fox 35's Marie Edinger has been digging into this for months now, following a trail of lawsuits all the way up to Virginia to find out how something like this could happen. Legacy Pools designed the pool of our dreams. It was, he got us everything we wanted. Stephen Hobbs always wanted a pool. He saved for years, hired Charles Black with Legacy Pools, and put down a $60,000 down payment. I was in our backyard watching him dig the pool, and I was just like a kid in a candy store. I was so excited about it. Hobbs says problems at his Melbourne home started soon after construction began. Leaking water, holes in the fence, a bad sun shelf, cracks, debris, and loose, brittle concrete. Hobbs said a few weeks into the project, the crews stopped showing up and Black stopped answering his calls. Finally, Hobbs sent this termination letter to Black, saying it had been more than 105 days since anyone had showed up to work on his pool. I look at that pool now, and I try to be excited about it and try to be happy about it, but I still look at it and think about the regrets because it is the biggest regret I've ever had in my entire life. Attorney Blake Stewart is representing dozens of other homeowners with the same complaints against Legacy Pools and Charles Black, claiming they lost tens of thousands of dollars. Many have already filed lawsuits. Our goal is to make as many Legacy Pools clients as whole as possible. It's, it's most likely impossible to you know, recover all of the money. Fox 35 did some digging and found a pile of complaints against Charles Black in Virginia. Court documents confirm Charles Black and the man accused in Florida are one and the same. The Florida attorney representing victims told us they have, quote, definitive information that Black is the same person who ran and or qualified several construction companies that lost their license in Virginia for fraud and civil conspiracy under similar circumstances to their current state. Court records show between 2006 and 2018, Virginia ordered Black to shell out over $100,000 to pay customers back for incomplete work. He was also fined for things like improper or dishonest conduct. In 2012, the Virginia Board of Regulation for Contractors said Black lied on his construction application, saying he, quote, lacks the character necessary to operate a licensed contracting business. To be candid, the system is not perfect. There's always a delay as people are given due process when they're being pursued for these matters. And the consumer does bear the brunt of that. I asked how Black was able to get his license in Florida despite his legal troubles in Virginia. A spokesperson with the Department of Business and Professional Regulations, the agency that has the power to grant and take away business licenses, declined to do an interview. She would only tell me the department does thorough background checks. Charles Black's lawyer sent Fox 35 this statement. There will be a point when Legacy Pools will share its side of the story, but at this time, we are focusing on reorganizing the company and finishing pools for existing customers. If you are in the market for a contractor, check the company's license online, ask for references, look up reviews, and check the BBB. Legacy Pools has an F rating with the BBB. But if you don't catch that, how do people protect themselves? The one thing that I would tell any consumer who is facing an issue with a licensed contractor is, file your complaint with the DBPR immediately. Don't wait. Once you do file a complaint, you're eligible for what's called the State Recovery Fund. That's a pool of money meant to pay back victims of misconduct by licensed construction workers. But that process can be lengthy, and you could still be left to the backyard that looks like this. I, I don't trust anybody anymore. I don't. Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News. Fox 35 is here to investigate if you've been wronged. If you can't get answers for yourself, let us help you. We're here. All you have to do is send us an email at fox35news at fox.com. Or you can also just open up the Fox 35 News app and tap contact us under settings.